If you're anything like me, you love using TypeScript in all your projects, but there's one thing that I've never liked about TypeScript, and that's its error messages. Matt Pocock has come to the rescue again, and he's built an extension for VS Code called TypeScript Error Translator, and I'm going to show you in this video how you can use this extension to make your error messages much more readable. So let's dive into VS Code and take a look. So I have this error message here, and this is four lines long, just to tell me that I can't pass a Boolean in here and instead I need to pass something that is of type filter query. Let's go down to the bottom here where I'm trying to pass a string in to find one an update. And this error message is much worse. This is telling me that I cannot pass a string because there's no overload that matches this input. And to tell me this, TypeScript has given me all these lines here. Let's install the extension and see what the translation of these errors is. I'm gonna come over to extensions here and I'm going to search for TypeScript error translator. And then we're going to install this extension here by Matt Pocock with around 15,000 downloads. When we come back, we can see that we have our original error message here, but we also have a translation that's much easier to read. I was expecting type filter query product document, but I was passed a Boolean instead. So this just means we need to pass something that satisfies this interface here. Let's scroll down and have a look at the overload error that we had before. So you can see here that we have our original error and then we have a nice little translation in one line that says, I was expecting type filter query, but you passed a string. This just means that we need to pass something that satisfies filter query. You can also click see full translation here and we'll click this now. And this is going to open up a browser window that has your error and your translation for you. You can also click contribute a translation and you'll get this nice guide here that's going to tell you how you can contribute to the project. So if you are anything like me and you love using TypeScript in all your projects, but you'd never like the error messages, try giving this extension a go and see if it improves your TypeScript experience. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.